Today's video is going to be on the auto scale plugin. I did a video a while back, but apparently there was a few issues. People weren't understanding what I was trying to say and the plugin wasn't working properly. So we're gonna go over two things. We're gonna go over the auto scale plugin and we're also gonna go over an easier and a free method to scale your GUIs for all screens. So we're going to start by showing you this is the adjusted offset, adjusted scale, and adjusted plugin. The adjusted plugin is not adjusted with the plugin yet, but I'm going to show you what it looks like, and then I'm going to adjust it with the plugin, and then we're going to see the differences. So I'm going to show you right now with some different platforms, such as the Xbox One. As you can see, the adjusted offset moved over to the left, whereas the adjusted scale stayed right in the center. So back to the studio setting, you can see that they're all centered. I wanted to keep these GUI centered. So what we're gonna do is we're going to show you what I mean by offset and scale. First, we're gonna take a look at the adjusted offset GUI. So I adjusted the offset on this and not the scale. So if you look over here to the left, I will show you what I'm talking about. You have position and you have size. Both have offset and both have scale. Drop down arrow on position brings you X and Y axes. Drop down arrow on the X brings you the scale and offset. So you can see here scale is set to zero whereas offset is set to 386. Do the same with the Y. You can see scale set zero, offset 303. So what does that mean? That's the position it is on the screen right now. As you can see, 386 right here, 303 right there. Do the same with size. Check size out, X and Y. Scale zero, offset 200. Scale zero, offset 50. So if you were to adjust this manually at this point using these little boxes, you will see on the left in the properties, depending on which one you scale, the X or Y will adjust when you move it. See the offsets gradually increasing, and then you move back down, it's decreasing. Now, if you want to keep this GUI in the center, you're going to have to adjust the scale. So there's two ways to do that. I'm gonna show you the first way right now. And the only way that this auto scale plugin is going to work is if the scales are zero for position and size as well. So let's take a look, let's try out this plugin auto scale. So I'm gonna show you again what it looks like as we move. This is the adjusted plugin. This is one we're gonna adjust with the auto scale plugin. We're gonna go through some different things here. The iPhone 4, where did it go? Well, they're down here and they're off the screen. This is a problem. iPhone X, you can see it a little bit more tablet, iPad 2, things are starting to overlap, getting kind of weird. Desktop, they're back off to the left. Same thing with the Xbox, has the same kind of thing. So as you can see, it's moving everywhere. I only use the auto scale plugin in the studio layout like this. I don't try to adjust them in the Xbox One or the 4S or the iPod Touch. I do it right here in the studio view. So all you have to do, click on the GUI you want to adjust, like I just did, this text label, it works with text label, it works with frame, it works with text button. So you click on what you want to adjust. For me, I want to adjust this text label. You scroll up to plugin and watch over here, I'm gonna show you, watch how it goes from offset to scale. Okay, that's what the whole purpose of this auto scale plugin is to do, is to convert it from offset to scale. So all I do is I go up here, the scale button, I press it once, and it does the conversion. It converted everything right here. Now take a look, offset is zero, whereas scale is 0 0.206. Same thing with the Y and the position as well. Offset is now zero on both of these, X and Y. And that's what it does. Now let's take a look, what does that mean when we go through different screens? Oh look, it's right next to the adjusted scale. That means it works. iPhone 4S, which I don't think anybody has anymore. The X right there, it's all there, it's all centered. That's what we wanted. Xbox One, perfect. It even adjusted the size. As you can see, this is a smaller version of what we wanted. We want it to be like in the center, so it converts the size and the location as well. That's what we want. That's exactly what we want to see. So I'm gonna show you how to do this without the auto scale plugin. It's just as easy. Go back to the studio view. All right, I'm gonna start with a brand new GUI. So I'm gonna show you from start to finish how to do this. So right click on starter GUI. Insert an object. 
type in screen or scree, that works too. Now you have this screen GUI down here. Now you're going to have to insert something. Insert another object, do text label. You see it up there, it showed up. And if you look to the left, position 0, 0, 0, everything's zeroed out. Except for down here for the size. Size is scale 0, offset 200, scale 0, offset 50. You can grab this and move it. And if you notice, when I grabbed it and I started to move it around, the scale actually adjusted and not the offset for this. So we'll put it right here. We're going to call this demo. And demo is tiny. So if you got tiny lettering and it doesn't make sense to you, you just got to click text scale. Boom, demo. All right, so now that we got demo in there, like I was saying, you move this around, you'll see that the scale's adjusting. So put that there, and let's go through the different menus. It still keeps it somewhat center. It didn't move like this one did, where we just adjusted the offset. Go through the different settings. It's still there. Now it's massive, because the size isn't changing. It's just the location is adjusting, but the size isn't. So how do we fix that? Well, this is the easiest way. You go over here to the left, you go under the size, scale, Type in something like 0.1. Set the offset to zero. See, it's a weird size. Don't worry about that just yet because we're going to just drag and drop this to where we want it to be. Scale. 0.2. Who cares, right? It doesn't matter at this point. Offset. Set zero. Now you can physically adjust it. This is the easiest way here. And it also locks in when it gets to like where you kind of want it. You can see a little red marks come up. That means you're perfectly lined up. So now we have this little tiny menu set up here. Demo, what does it say? 0 0.206, offset 0, offset 0. Go up here to position, offset 0, offset 0. So this is going to move with the screen. This is going to be what we want to use. Look at that, perfect. iPhone X, right there as well. Obviously the adjusted offset's doing its own thing. That's what we had an issue with, that's why we're here. But the way I showed you this Scale is the same thing as the auto scale, except it's free and it's not difficult. You can even take this little menu, bring it up here, and get it out of the way and play it through the different screens. We moved it up to the left, but we still have that adjusted offset, which is crazy. So it looks kind of terrible, but it's actually good. See, not too bad. The only one that's crazy is that offset one. Well, that's it. Hopefully this helped. If there's any questions, let me know. I will try my best to answer them. Sometimes YouTube doesn't show me that I have comments. So if I miss it, I'm not ignoring you. I might just be busy or it might not have shown up. Maybe like, maybe subscribe, maybe do nothing. If you already subscribed, thanks. I really do appreciate it. I don't do tutorials too often, but I try my best to get them out, especially when people are making their requests. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here. See ya.